when President Kennedy left this city just one year ago today, he remarked to those with him, he said, I shall leave a note for my successor, telling him that in a moment of discouragement or despair, he should come to Germany, he should come to Berlin. I knew what he had meant, because I had been to Berlin before. And I see again what he meant when I look out at all of you. I knew what he meant when he surveyed the wall of shame and compared it with your courage and said, Ich bin ein Berliner. <laughs> President Kennedy clearly saw the qualities of citizenship that have made your city a password of freedom. He saw clearly the quality of strength which has prevented any assault from breaking your will. He saw clearly the quality of spirit, which has prevented any injustices from blurring your vision. He saw clearly the quality of courage, which has made you free. Surrounded by hostility, besieged by enemies, your future threat, your freedom in jeopardy, you have emerged from each of these assaults stronger, greater, and more resolute. For all this, President Kennedy congratulated you. And on behalf of free men all over the world, he thanks you. That's the Today, for him, you, a free and courageous people, I have come to thank you. What <laughs> President Kennedy said when he was here a year ago is indivisible. And when one man is enslaved, all are not free. Right in the Berlin, know the truth of these words as well as any people throughout the world. You know, who would enslave some other man would enslave others. The man from Pittsburgh is not free until the man from Peking is free. The man and the man from West Berlin is not free until his brother in East Berlin is also free. Here, on a front line of freedom, you serve not only for yourselves and for your country. You defend freedom for my country as well. And with your allies. And you defend freedom for free men all over the globe. America and other countries have helped you defend your city. And look forward to the day when your family, your city, and your country will be reunited in a Europe of peace and prosperity. A new president leads our land, but our course under President Johnson, as it was under President Kennedy, is committed to your freedom. And 
system is not propped up here in Berlin. It does not exist in this city because of the assistance from outside. Here, rests on your vitality, on your free election, on your trade union, on your great university, on your flourishing industry, and on your gallant mayor. The name of Berliner is far more than a geographical accent, accident of citizenship. It means courage. Our freedom has not been given. It has been bravely earned. And so it must be with freedom everywhere. And so it has always been. Freedom, said Pericles, is the sure possession of those alone who have the courage to defend it. And his words fit Berlin. And about 2,000 years later, Jerome Goethe wrote that he only earns his freedom and existence who daily conquers them anew. And it is in that same spirit that President Kennedy spoke, acted, and lived. He was here to the city of Berlin, but he also founded here in full measure. Oh, by honoring him, you also honor yourselves, and forever John F. Kennedy will live in this city. Knowing that it is better to bring a light to the barricade than to curse the darkness, resolve here and now to hasten the day when that spirit encircles the globe and all men and all Berliners and all people will know what it means to be truly free. On behalf of John F. Kennedy, on behalf of all of the Kennedys, and on behalf of all of the people of my country, I thank you. I thank you. citizens of the world.